Well, welcome back. You know, any bug inside the home is truly not a welcome guest, okay? Let's just say that. From ants to roaches, whatever, the pros can help you take back control of your home. And joining us now with what you can expect from a pest control service is President and CEO of ABC Home and Commercial Services, Raleigh Jenkins. Raleigh, it is great to see you there. I know maybe you heard us chatting earlier about the rat thing, being able to sneak through a dime size. And Raleigh, is it me or <laughs> is, is springtime a time when everything comes to life and there are just more more little critters who want to come inside our homes am i imagining yeah, things? i mean yeah they've been making it through the winter they've been hunkering down harboring in, in in areas that are a little bit warmer and all of a sudden spring happens and you know new babies start coming out and as populations start growing they start coming out of areas that you normally don't see them snakes and lizards and i i, I, I gotta tell you i just love your conversation a minute ago that was just so much fun <laughs> i think i'm gonna skip out of work on a consistent basis if we're going to have those kind of subjects, I am all in. I'll do whatever it takes to be a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a viewer for life. I love it, Raleigh. Okay, so this is the season, too, where we are talking about the state bird. We've had a little bit of rain, so the mosquitoes, we're going to start seeing those coming back. And also the dreaded fire ants, of course, with any, you know, the kids are playing outside. We've got pets outside in the lawn. We want to be able to play and frolic. But how do we get rid of these just annoying bugs like that? Well, let's start with your state bird that you just talked about, mosquitoes. Uh, what you see him doing here right now, that's a, an intube care station. Uh, what happens is mosquitoes come in, they land on that. It doesn't kill the mosquito, so it's very safe for, around your house. But if the mosquito picks up the material and they go land in other areas at their breeding sites and they take the material with them. So they, they come from this whole big area out here that's their natural habitat and they are drawn to the backyard because you're a good food source. Well, the issue is they'll rest on that station and then they'll take it back to where they, they've been breeding and they'll eliminate that as a breeding site. So that is a great way to, to control mosquitoes. It's the safest way, safest way. Uh, mosqui I mean, butterflies and bumblebees, they're not an issue for this. They're not gonna worry about hitting non-target insects. It'll only take care of mosquitoes. But what you'll see here, I've got Ben Johnson out here right now. And he's doing the treatment of what you would do for general pest control. And the idea is you want to apply the material to where the bugs live, not where you live. So not on the inside on your baseboards. Out here you'll see large roaches, the smoky browns and Americans. You were talking about those earlier. And even the, the spiders that are living out here and the crickets. If we start with treatment out here, we don't have to do anything inside. That infestation will never come in. And y'all were talking about earlier, um, the lizards and snakes that come into your yard. If we get rid of the bugs that they would feed on in the yard, mm. that's less likely for those those uh, lizards and snakes to come. They don't have as much of a desire. So take away that, take away their harbage area for those snakes, and it's less likely you're going to have that problem. But now you see them treating for fire ants. So fire ants are the ants that just take away your backyard and attack and ruin a great picnic. While well, he's fitting out a bait that they'll feed on when they forage. And also the other bait he's applying is to take care of those larger insects like roaches, the smoky browns, the Americans, crickets, those type of insects. It's not just one chemical that you wanna to use to eliminate those sources. And it's not just one formulation of chemical. Now you see them going around and, and kind of treating all those areas around your house that insects would be trailing. So ants and spiders. And if you don't treat those areas, the lights that are on your house will always be attracting the spiders and ants to your home. So doing a very detailed treatment throughout the backyard. We just took one little leg of the, the backyard here and we did a treatment. That's how you've got to do it. And it's never one product that works. You need to look at what is the surface you're treating? What is your target insect you're after? And then do the research and homework on their biology and habits and then go to the source, go to those locations. Yeah, and Raleigh, I, you, I know you already mentioned this, but I think it bears repeating. You mentioned the old school way of, of what people think about when it comes to pest control is just spraying the baseboards down inside the house. But what you're saying is there are environmentally friendly, responsible ways to do this outside in your yard, which is better for your health and also more effective, right? Absolutely correct. I mean, let's get to the root of the problem, which is out here in the yard, and, and if we do it there, we don't have to do anything really on the inside. So we're not, you're, you're being more proactive out here and reactive when you get on the inside. 
And what's great too, Raleigh, is I love this one-stop shopping as well because you customize this, whether um, you're coming out to do um, you know, the, the pest control and you can add in pool maintenance and lawn services and all of these things under one umbrella. Absolutely. The, the great thing about this is our pool services is a precise treatment. We're measuring, you know, an understanding of the chemistry of your pool. And it, what scares me the most are people just kind of go out and they go glug, glug, glug. They just throw in whatever they feel like putting in there. And I'm telling you, you know, your children and you are swimming in that pool. You need to be careful what chemistry you change or what you create that that bat of, of chemicals that you have in there. So make sure you're testing the chemicals. You're measuring what you have and then put out the right volume right products into your pool before you just start jumping back into it again so a pool is more than just something you get to enjoy and play in and, and we're happy to take care of it. whether it's your pest control problems your pool situation or your lawn you know let us take that heavy work off if you want but if you want to do it yourself do it right be careful with what you're doing whether it's repair work or it's, it's the actual chemical work or the lawn or the pest. Well, Raleigh Jenkins, uh, we know you guys are environmentally conscious. You've been in business for a long time. You're very good at what you do. We always appreciate our conversations. And we do want to mention to our viewers, 50 dollars off your initial pest control maintenance service you got a book today if you want to get in on the deal you can call 281-730-9500 or log on to abchomeandcommercial.com if you would like to learn more again raleigh jenkins abc home and commercial services we always love our chats with you can't wait to have Thank you back you. in studio love talking to you too y'all take care have a great week and <laughs> thanks raleigh you too